much Matter of fact, I'm at my best You won't keep pulling me down Cause I'm giving myself a rest From you Might have taken me a while But I know you ain't worth my time yeah, I'm through I'm taking myself off your ground Cause I ain't gonna fly by This video has not gone exactly as I've anticipated so far. So to uh, give a bit of an elaboration on the title of this video, I am currently in Massachusetts, about an hour outside of Boston, and I am going to be buying a new Saab, barring any major problems coming up. Now, I'm not going to tell you guys what that Saab is. If you follow me on Instagram and you happen to see my live stream, which went live today, AKA, Wednesday, I did a short little live stream. You might have seen the car in that. I want to give a big shout out to Sid. Uh, she's the one who picked me up from the airport in Boston and generously drove me an hour all the way out here so I could see this car. So she actually is a big soft person herself. She does a lot of soft photography. You might have seen her work before actually. So I'll link her Instagram and her newly founded YouTube channel down below in the uh, in the description. So definitely make sure to check it out and give her a I don't know, subscription or a follow or whatever. So I also had a, uh, a nice little travel montage planned and uh, that, that didn't go as I, I had hoped because uh, first off I had an aisle seat so I couldn't get any footage and of course the people I was sitting next to decided to close the windows the entire duration of the flight. And then I also left at midnight last night from Phoenix and I had been up since 4 a.m. So I was pretty freaking tired. So I didn't really film that much. I also didn't film much on the way here. I had a cool montage plan, but I, I don't think it's gonna turn out very good. So I apologize for that in advance. But I got here to Massachusetts, spent about 45 minutes test driving the car and did a few other things, looked it over. And basically right now what I'm waiting on, I just have a bunch of time to kill is for his work day to end, then we're all gonna hang out or whatever, and then uh, he's getting an estimate on how much it'll cost to ship the car from Boston or from here to Phoenix, because I am not going to be driving it back because that'll take me about three or four days and I don't have that much time. And I quite frankly don't wanna drive 30 plus hours across the country by myself. So in the meantime, he was generous enough to let me borrow his personal car, which just so happens to be a BMW 135i with a six-speed manual. Now, I wanna tell you guys a little bit about this car because this thing is sick and I have always admired these. So this has a twin turbo inline six. I believe it's the same exact motor out of the uh, BMW 335i. So it's got, it was dynoed at 300 wheel horsepower. I mean, a tune and just a little bit of work can get that number up big time, but this thing is quick. I mean, I absolutely love it so far. It looks badass too. It has six piston brakes on the front. Six piston brakes. For now, I guess I'm just gonna be driving this thing around, chilling this afternoon. I don't know if anything cool is gonna happen. Probably not, because uh, I slept for about a half hour on the plane, and that means I've slept a grand total of a half hour in the last 30 hours. So I'm pretty sleep deprived, but I'm running on adrenaline right now. I'm excited. Later today, we're gonna have a hangout. We're going over to uh, another big Saab guy's house. He's apparently got a pretty sweet biggin. So I'll probably film a little bit of that if I can. Then tomorrow, there's actually a Saab meet. Or not a Saab meet, but there's a big car meet where a bunch of Saab should be going. So I'm gonna be filming that as well, as well as whatever else I do on Thursday. So yeah, I guess I'll catch up with you guys when something interesting happens again. Maybe I'll try and take a nap. I don't know, I've got like four hours to kill. So one thing I am really fond of, of the East Coast in general, or I guess pretty much everywhere that's not Arizona, is that pretty much all the roads are curvy. Now that makes it very impractical for getting a lot of places quickly, but it means it's a lot more fun for driving. It's not, everything's not all straight with the exception of a couple roads. So I, I have enjoyed driving here so far. There are a lot of potholes. Fortunately, the roads aren't as well maintained as in Arizona. All right, you guys ready to see how quick this thing is? Second gear. Woohoo! 
my god <laughs> trouble holding the camera and focusing wow i love this thing i'm currently doing a live stream on instagram doing a q a so if you guys follow me on instagram at auto.autopsy you can join in on all the fun that we're having here on this beautiful live stream this has probably been the worst vlog so far it is now thursday morning i really need to stop doing this whole vlog thing because i'm just terrible at it but uh so update on what happened yesterday i ended up killing a lot of time i uh, ended up going back to his dealership and then we headed back to his place he's been extremely generous and courteous um he's allowing me to stay at his house even so i don't have to pay for a hotel he's still letting me drive his freaking car i love this thing but anyways so went back there and then we actually met up with another big sob guy uh he's got a really really sweet vegan now uh, we went we all went to get dinner on the way I rode in his vig and it's got a built motor So it's a 2.4 and I mean that thing torque steered like freaking crazy and it is in beautiful condition So that was a ton of fun. I'll go ahead and play a nice clip of him ripping through the forest right now After breakfast we talked and we agreed on a price for the car so right now I actually just went to Bank of America and I got cash out this is a lot this is the most cash I have ever seen in my life this is freaking crazy guys I do not trust myself with this money thankfully I'm only about five minutes away from the dealership so I don't have to hold it for long and I mean I could have gotten a money check or whatever what's called like a money order but I mean that's not as cool as this this is cool if you guys did join me for my, one of my two live streams yesterday, I did actually accidentally say what I bought. So by now that live stream is now off my Instagram, but if you did catch it, then good for you. I've had a few DMs and stuff, people guessing what it was, and actually a lot of you are right, which I figured you would be, but I am so excited. So hopefully as soon as I get back to the uh, dealership, uh, we can sign all the papers and get the title and bill of sale and everything. And I keep saying dealership, but let me uh, just say this is actually being a, this is actually a private party sale. He works at a dealership. The car's been at his dealership. We're just doing everything at the dealership. So then later today, I'm hoping to get a lot of good shots of the car. Now I'm not sure if I'm really going to be able to drive it because he can give me a dealer plate for it, but they might need the dealer plate for his dealership. So I'm going to try to convince him to at least let me take it out for an hour or two. I don't think I'm going to be able to bring it to the meet that we're going to later, but uh, I guess time will tell. So I'll film what I can. I'm not gonna film anything when we're doing the paperwork because I just feel like that's kind of rude. But uh, yeah, I'll catch up with you guys after the car is in my name. I'm so excited. You guys are going to shit your brains out when you see what this car is. I am in love. So the car is officially mine and it is sitting right over there right in front of me but i am not going to show it to you um turns out unfortunately at his dealer they only have a couple dealer plates and they have to use them both today to go pick up some cars from auctions and whatnot so i cannot drive this legally because it doesn't have any plates you can't do a temporary registration in massachusetts for some reason they don't have temporary plates so i'd either have to go register it to be able to drive it or just not drive it until i leave tomorrow morning so I figure uh, I just parked it in a nice spot over here and took a lot of great pictures. Got a little bit of B-roll. The reveal video will be delayed just a little bit. I had plans for it to come out next Wednesday, which would be my next upload from this one. But because I can't film that before I leave because I can't really drive it, uh, it's going to have to wait. So, of course, as soon as I get the car in Phoenix, which it should be in Phoenix within a week. So... I'll get on that as soon as I can, and then we'll have that reveal video out. Until then, I'm going to try not to splurge and tell you guys what it is, but like I said, you guys are going to love it. I am so in love with this thing already. Okay, hold up. I just need to point out how much I love the Northeast, because there is a V6 Aero Vert right here, and I like never see these in Arizona, so even though this is like an everyday sight for people out here, I stopped and looked at this for like a solid two or three minutes 
it's automatic, but I mean, it's still, still freaking sweet. Quick update, guys. I just got lunch at my most favorite restaurant in the world, Chipotle, and even though I am in a completely new part of the country, I decided to still eat at a place that I go to probably once or twice a week. So, now I am headed to a Saab dealer. They actually have some Saab merchandise there, so I don't know how many Saabs are going to be there. It's not exclusively a Saab dealer, so there are other cars there, but I'm more interested in the merchandise and I'll film uh, whatever cars I happen to see there. So let's go ahead and hit the road and get there. But it feels more like a memory of someone I know Lord in me nation, you Ain't with precision, you Are always on point when you blow me away Well, that was uh, extremely disappointing. I'm just here at the dealership. There's a nice 9.3 part next to me. See all the Volvos. This is just part of the lot they have here. But I went inside. I asked for where the Saab stuff was, and I was brought to a guy who basically told me, we don't have any Saab merchandise or shirts or anything anymore, that they had gotten rid of them. And he seemed really sad about it. And that kind of made me feel better that I wasn't the only weird person who was sad about it. I was hoping to pick up a new shirt or a hat or something, I don't know, because Saab merchandise is just so hard to find. And anyways, let's head off to the meet at Gillette now. It says I'm about 75 minutes away. I didn't think it was that far, but I think it's because it's like almost 4.30 and we're in rush hour traffic, so. <sighs> it's been a while since I've been to the East Coast and I've forgotten just how beautiful and green it is here. I mean, despite the terrible, terrible, I mean, just deplorable infrastructure of all these cities, I, it, it, it looks nice. I'll give them that. It's beautiful here. Well guys, that was honestly a massive disappointment. The show here is pretty huge. I just kind of walked through it pretty quick. Um, I saw about three sobs there. Uh, none of them were really parked together. I kind of got the impression there'd be a bunch of sobs parked together and a big kind of hangout, but I guess not. So I, uh, I'm headed back now. There wasn't really much to film. Um, yeah, that was a pretty disappointing experience, but now I guess I'm gonna drive this home, or not home, but back to uh, back to the place where I'm staying for uh, for another 50 minute drive, and then and then I leave tomorrow morning. So honestly, this trip has been really fun, but this is kind of a uh, disappointing and irritating end for now. But still a great trip. I am finally back home. It was a long couple days, but definitely a very fun and exciting couple days. So the car is supposed to be leaving Massachusetts tomorrow, which is Saturday, which is most likely the day that you are seeing this video. And it should be in Phoenix sometime late next week. So as soon as I get the car, I will get to work on that reveal video. Although I do want it to be something special. So if I have to wait, I want to make sure that I can get help with it and make sure that it's really high quality. I'm going to do my best to do that for you guys. In the meantime, though, we do have some exciting stuff that just came in courtesy of Matt over at East Saab Parts. He generously sent my dad two brand new brake rotors for his 95 Aero. So a partnership with him is coming. I want to thank him so much for, I mean, first off, he couldn't, I mean, they just weren't in stock and he, he found a couple, sent them out right away, and hopefully we'll be installing those very soon. So, 
So yeah, with that being said, guys, that's going to wrap up the video. If you did enjoy and you are excited for the new car, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. I'll see you all next time.